Hi, this is a new video of Isaac Albeniz art class. Uh, today we are going to know how to look for images on the net. And the first thing you can do uh, is just look uh, through a search engine like Google. You have other options like Yahoo or Bing and uh, other different uh, ones. But I usually work with this search engine. The only thing you have to do is just type the searching criteria. In this case we are looking for Picasso's images. Uh, here you have the results. Uh, but the best thing you can do is to click on images and you will be redirected to the results of uh, the images. The good thing with Google is that you are going to have this upper side strip uh, very well organized uh, where you, you, you have distributed by categories the different results you get in the part below. Uh, let's think we are looking for one of the most famous uh, Picasso's uh, paintings. Is, this is the Le Mademoiselle de Mignon. You always, when click on the thumbnail, get a, a bigger view of the of the image. You have two options on the right: view image, as you can see, and visit page. Uh, I suggest you always not to click with the left button of your mouse, but with the right button, you will get um, a pop-up menu. You right click uh, on the uh, open link in new tab and you will get this image, full view image, in a new tab. This prevents you from going back and forth uh, in the browser, so it's a very good option. You want to visit the page, you just cl right click again and uh, click open link in a new tab and you will get to the website which stores the image alongside with other ones. For instance, if you scroll down the, uh, the screen, you will get to the image uh, we got in the results. Okay, uh, another thing you can do while looking for images in Google is to click this arrow on the right side and you will get to the new uh, search, in search result. Uh, if you click again, you will get uh, to the new or the next uh, search results. Let's get go back. Let's go back to this. Place. Another thing you can do with Google, it's very inter interesting, is search tool. Click on search tool button, so you are going to get much uh, more options. Size, uh, if you want to look for uh, any kind of uh, image size. Large, for instance, is going to be a higher quality, but uh, you this is going to be mm, a heavier. Uh, image every time you want to download on in your computer. Usage rights is a very interesting thing because you can also look for images that are uh, copyright free. Remember, uh, most of the images you are going to work with are subject to um, copyright. That means that you, sh if you want to, to use them in a public site or in a public environment, you should ask for permission. Um, also, you can work with them in a private environment, so it's very likely you are not going to have to ask for any permission because it's, it remains in the private uh, environment, uh, as we are going to do I in the class, of course, just for the sake of learning, and that's all. Okay, I'm going to close the two tabs I had already open, and let's move on to the next possibility. Uh, this is a uh, Google project, art project. Uh, you have here uh, plenty of art collections uh, coming from different museums and art institutions that have assigned a kind of agreement with Google. Uh, you have a search engine over here. You can click, uh, remember, try to locate always this tiny uh, magnifier. That means that this is a search engine um, type for what you are looking for, let's think we are, I'm, I'm looking for cubist, or cubism. Okay, cubism. Um, 
you, you press enter key on your keyboard and you will get uh, more than 163 items you just scroll down mm, you can go to if you click on any one of these thumbnails you will get to the image you want to okay for instance I'm going to, to go to this one, Juan Gris, in the uh, Museo Reina Sofia here in Madrid. The good point is that if you have a Google account, you can uh, collect all these images in a private collection, your own collection, and also you can magnify the view even to get to the tiniest details of the image. This is awesome because you can enjoy even even the the, the a painstaking view of the image. Okay? So this is the second possibility you have. The third one is Wikimedia Commons. The good point here in this website is that all uh, those images or most of the images you have here stored are copyright free this is the search engine remember the magnifier I'm going to type uh, futurist okay and you, you, you can see we got a, a list of items uh, let's click on cat category futurist painters so you have s s many ca different categories uh, since I'm looking for painters I get a list of the painters that have works stored in the in the site and let's let's tr try with Umberto Boccione one of the best in my opinion futurist painters if you click on it you will have a l some many different information about the this painter and scrolling down the the website you can have several of the uh, paintings for instance I'm going to choose this one okay this is one, um, one possibility um, use this file if you click this button you can download the file I re recommend you not to download the original image try to original file to always to download because there are very good images usually uh, so download uh, images that are uh, medium size like this one okay yeah. you can embed in a website your website uh, the image because it's copyright free I remind you the only thing you have to do is to copy this text in order to uh, conveniently and pro um, um, properly attribute the author okay um, the last thing you can do is type again in Google search machine machine uh, uh, the name of any of the uh, hundreds of art museums of art or art institutions that are all over the world let's try with uh, Prado Museum okay press the enter key and you can get just click in the result we get to the Prado Museum sorry this is this is the right one okay and uh, you can look for the collection click on the collection you have here several possibilities online gallery let's go to the online gallery author title, title author Velázquez search oh. sorry these are the results let's go to this beautiful portrait the mother Jerónima de la Fuente I click zoom or enlarge and I get can slide and pan the painting
Okay. Even to get very accurate view of the painting. Mm -hmm. And that's all. I think you have had enough with these guidelines I gave you today. I hope everything comes in, f in handy for you and uh, you will be able to look for beautiful images when I ask you for doing so. Um, we will meet again uh, very soon in the future. Uh, okay, folks, that's all.